Now that two random variables have been defined, the next step is to take a look at what their probability distribution is. So this first part here defines a joint probability mass function. That's for when the two random variables are discrete. And this second portion here defines joint probability density functions. Those are when the random variables are continuous. So in the discrete case, for some set A, a subset of script A, if P of A is, the probability of A is the same as the probability XY is an element of the set A, if that's equal to the double summation over the set A of F of XY, when X and Y are discrete random variables, then F of XY is known as the joint probability mass function, abbreviated PMF, of X and Y. So here's a quick picture. There is X and there is Y. X and Y are discrete random variables, so they are defined on some set of points. I'll draw some in here. And those points are known as the support script A. If I were to add up f of x, y over script A, I would get 1. But if I have some set A, which is a subset of the support, say these five points right here constitute the set A, then the way I calculate p of A, which is the same as saying the probability of x, y being an element of A, is I do a double summation of f of x, y. Basically, I add up the joint probability mass function associated with these five points, and that's how I calculate the probability um, that the random variables x and y are in lower, I'm sorry, uppercase A. Now, in the case of joint probability density function, it looks about the same. For some set A, a subset of A, if P of A is, and same thing goes on here, but you can see this time the double summation is replaced by a double integral when X and Y are continuous random variables, then F of X, Y is the joint probability density function, again abbreviated PDF, of X and Y slightly different picture for the continuous case. You might have, let's say, script A is the first quadrant. So the entire first quadrant might be script A, and that's the support. And then there might be some subset of the uh, first quadrant and that would be this uppercase A set. And so to find the probability of A, we'd want to take a double integral over that region of the joint probability density function dy dx. Now, these joint PDFs, namely this guy here, and joint probability mass functions have to satisfy certain conditions. And here are those conditions. First of all, in the case of discrete random variables x and y, the joint probability mass function must sum to 1, and that's the analog from uh, the single summation in uh, the univariate case, and also must be greater than or equal to 0 for all real values of x and y. For the joint probability density function, that is, for continuous random variables x and y, the existence conditions are the double integral of the joint probability density function must be 1 and f of x, y must be greater than or equal to 0 for all real values of x and y.